Hey. Hey. I'm so happy to be back. I'm so happy to be back too. Welcome to Geek by Heart. I'm Jay. I am Lainey. And we are here to talk about the end game. The oh, end game. We are in the end game now. The end game. Ooh. Oh my goodness. All right, and what an end. <sighs> An epic end of the game it was. Yeah, we are here to talk about it, so please let's stay go. with us and let's review this real quick. All right. So, directed by the Russo Brothers, the outstanding Russo Brothers, starring Robert, Robert Downey Jr. Chris Evans. Okay, we got Chris Evans, Chris um, Hemsworth, mm -hmm. Chris Pratt. Yeah. Okay. And we have Scarlett Johansson. Josh Brolin. And who we have? We have um, Chadwick Boseman. All right, and a whole bunch more. And a whole bunch of people. Like, I mean, you know, I, it was a I lot. don't remember much of them. Exactly. It's Paul on. Rudd, let me <laughs> go on, on, on. It's on and on and on. But and basically, the, and the movie was directed by Russo, right? I know. Russo I said that. Yeah, said that. You're not listening. Yeah. No, I mean they're, they're, they're awesome, so I, I, it's okay. Yeah, it's all good. Anyway, I mean, basically, they are trying to make sure that half of the world comes back. Yeah, because well, that snapped you know I mean? the yeah, everybody. Snap, yeah, that snap uh, half what, everybody. That and of course, the, the movie is a continuation from the Infinity War. The Infinity Stones. He can do it with the snap of his fingers. It's epic. pretty much epic. It's epic. You know, epic, it's epic, epic beyond epic. proportions in, a, in so many ways. You know, you can, um, man. <laughs> get your, get your bands. We're going to talk about it. We're going to talk about it. All right, let's go. So, the beginning of the movie. What you think about it? Um, I think the biggest thing that I really did appreciate and like was that when Cap and Iron Man came together. Mm -hmm. It wasn't about like, oh my God, you're safe and sound. Like yeah. they still had venom for each other, yeah. especially Iron Man. And it was real <laughs> and it was raw. It wasn't about like, oh, we're brothers. We're gonna get through this. Nah, dude, mm. fuck you, we good. Mm. Nah, yeah, you stay to the left, be. I stay to the right, they we're still straight. Had the beef. They're still, because at the same time, I think um, Iron Man was still like, you know, um, blaming Captain America for his absolutely history. and for how you know how things turned out but what really grabbed me about the beginning of the movie was um, <clears throat> was the, the first scene with um, Hawkeye and his family and the fact that they got you know involved yeah. in the snap yeah and, and that 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 kind of developed me for the whole movie kind of you know it kind of bring me up and I'm like oh okay you Let's see what's up <laughs> and you, when you say that <clears throat> I, I thought it was going to actually make sure that we was going to see a lot more development yeah. within Hawkeye mm -hmm. because you know they hinted at Ronan coming out so yeah. I was like alright yep. you definitely going to see that come out because mm -hmm. if you see if he's is seen or actually I shouldn't say seen basically he turns around and they're gone, they're gone so yeah. like that I didn't like mm. I thought that they could have invested us more into him like missing his family for him to see the disintegration. Like, I know it was done to death, obviously, with like, what, 10 minutes of it happening yeah, yeah. in Infinity War. Mm -hmm. But you know what? I think they still could have done it with this. Yeah, I mean, seeing his daughter, like, probably hug his daughter and mm -hmm. daughter disintegrated um, within his arms would, would be a more insightful been, impact. Yes. On, on absolutely. The absolutely. And you know what? The um, the scene with Iron Man and, um, what's, her, what's her name? Nebula. On Nebula on the ship. Yeah. Bonding and everything. Yeah. Yeah. I think that was, that was pretty cute. dope. Yeah, that was that cute. Was, that was dope. Yeah. And and I like the fact that they made Tony Stark re look really, really skinny. Skinny. Yep. That he's you know that he was going through a, a lot on the ship. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? So that that kind of dragged me closer to the the, the, the production of the movie itself. So. You know I'm fan grinning right <laughs> now, but like seeing Karen Gillum as like almost a robot versus seeing Karen <laughs> Gillum in. Doctor Who, like you, I've seen this actress be so personable mm. and for her to be like very robotic and just like really awkward mm. was cool. So oh, yeah, okay. sorry. Yeah, yeah. That was awesome. That was awesome. And of course the attack um, of Thanos on the farm. You know, it was, he went for the head now. It was swift. He went for the head. <laughs> it was swift. He went for the head. It was swift. And I was like, <laughs> Finally. Wow. 
Just like that, huh? Yeah. <laughs> but I think that was good. I really think that they, mm -hmm. they, they getting Thanos out the way at the beginning of the film so they yeah. can focus on actually trying to get Being back what so. they, they lost mm -hmm. was really good rather than just fighting Thanos. But yeah. more on that later because I could still go either way. Yeah, later. so, you know. That's 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 what I was I was thinking as well because the the, the five year pass passing of the whole killing of Thanos and everything kind of pulls you where each superhero had uh, some acceptance of as a, of being a human being and, and you know audience kind of you know kind of see that within the Avengers themselves you know because I, I did see that within myself man you know that they, they were like really sad. Or you know what well, they were going through some issues, you know. I I, I agree with that. I just don't like the five year jump. Mm, okay. I think that it causes problems. I mean, like obviously it's gonna cause problems for homecoming, and they claim they're gonna address that in homecoming. Mm. And not home, not homecoming, far far from home. Yeah. Um, but I still didn't. I still don't like it. I I would have been happy with even six months or something. Cause I think the the decimation still would have taken hold. Mm -hmm. Now obviously it's gonna take hold more for five years for yeah. six months. Mm -hmm. But I, I still feel like it just still would have taken hold mm -hmm. if you're thinking about it from a reality and if you're thinking about it for future films mm -hmm. on the same timeline. Mm -hmm. The time heist. Okay. What you thought about it? I mean, to me, it was, it was, it was a, a because I was, uh, you know what? I wasn't, I wasn't, I wasn't, I was, my mind wasn't thinking that it was going to happen as a time, as a time thing, you know? Oh, no. Uh, uh, There's told that yeah, because, we couldn't have gone any other way, almost. Yeah. I liked the show with, is it going to be Scarlet? Or is it going to be, be Hawkeye? Hawkeye? I'm yeah. sorry, Black Widow, or is it going to be Hawkeye? Mm -hmm. I love that part. I did not like how they just undid Loki's death. Because, mm. not in, the, in that fashion. Mm. Because I was so team Loki's still alive, hashtag Loki's still alive, mm. because he's such a clever being. How does he think his small ass is gonna be like, so I'm gonna walk up to you and then try to stab you? and then you get choked the life out of you. He's so much more clever than that. So I was like, okay, this gonna be, this has got to be some kind of trick. He is going to reappear. And just to have him reappear in the time heist and oh, he gets away. Now he's alive. Like. Well, you know, it's, it's as I said, it's basically a time travel sequence. So he got the chance to escape and, and he did. Which is, it's, They said of Disney Plus real well. You know, they they, they, they did whatever, um, whatever they, they needed to do. But um, I think that was one of the most emotional part of me from um, the time I The two other one was um, with Tony Stark meeting his, his father. I agree. Um, I agree. You know, they sharing their sentiments and everything. Mm -hmm. And um, Thor meeting his mother. Yes. Before her died. Before I she died. Definitely. Agree and with that. Uh, yeah, that kind of that kind of gaffed with me a little bit. Yeah. You know, it, it, it's pretty much emotional, being being that Thor is going through some issues and mm -hmm. whatever, and he see the advice from his mom, and his mom was like, "Listen." On the day she know, dies. Yeah. On like almost died, almost yeah. a scene or something like that yeah, right before. Yeah. yeah but exactly. yeah. So you know that was pretty much emotional for me within that that time the time ice, and what was more information what was what was more informative for me was um. The 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 the, um, the the ancient one that came across with um, the Hulk, okay, and she was explaining the whole time sequence and everything. I think there, if if you watch it again, it kind of open you more because what she's trying to explain is that there are other time holes that that other things can happen within those time realms. I mean, it's. It's it's complicated. Insert whatever. <laughs> insert whatever meme that you need to at this point. It's, it's pretty much complicated, but you know you just basically have to understand what because that is that is opening up a whole can of worms for different things. Because with this, with that being said, there's <laughs> gonna be an inclusion with Wolverine, the X Men, 
um, Fantastic Four because they're going to be oh in boy, the Oh boy, don't fanboy me. Yep. Don't, it, don't fanboy me. In it. Don't fanboy me right now. Let's listen to Endgame. <laughs> don't fanboy me right now. Because boy, he been talking about the inclusion of Fantastic Four for I don't know how many years, but let's go back to Endgame. Mm -hmm. So, but yeah, I, I, I agree with all that. I think mm -hmm. that especially it did hit me with um, Tony and his dad. Um, reuniting, especially because one of the films that I saw to get ready for Endgame was Civil War. Mm. So, like having that kind of closure, yeah. I think was key to, to Tony. For me, that should have been like, okay, he's gonna die, because mm -hmm. he's got that closure, yeah, yeah, yeah. and that was a very, very big loophole—not mm -hmm. loophole, but um, hole within Civil War between the two of those yeah. characters. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Final scene. Final scene or final scenes? What are we talking about? Because there's, there's a that's a final loaded. Scene. That's very loaded. The fight scene. Okay. Starting that's, from okay. the explosion within the uh, the 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 the, the, um, the the whatever place. Spit that, it out. From that there on, <laughs> that was like the whole kickoff of the movie. On your left. On your left. Oh man. Oh my god. Oh, I, yo. Listen. From that part. From that part. I was, I was, I was that crying. Part on. I was crying for no reason. I, I don't know. I don't know how to explain that. The no, it, it's very easy. It was scene. awesome. It the was, it was awesome. It was, it was fan service. It was. Huh, the whole, I was crying too. The whole ending scene, especially the scene with when um, Captain grabbed out Milner and started fighting with the shield. Oh my Yo, God. we both almost stood up. We both almost stood up. There was so many like times where there was so much clapping for so many different things like that. When um, when they all came about, when Tom Holland and 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 Robert Downey Jr. hugged as characters as Iron Man and, mm. and Spider Man, that was like there was so many times that, was, that every that was, time that I thought I was gonna be like, okay, I'm good, I'm not gonna cry no more. Something came, and then you got it more. Something I was like, happened. "Damn, bro!" Oh my god! And then, and then you have Rocket, you have um, Rocket and, and, and Groot. Groot. Yeah, that was it. Was it was so cute? Or you had when you had the girl squat? What? I listen. Uh -uh. That, it, that, it was awesome. I mean, there it was, was awesome. just so much fun moment in that in the whole entire end scene. It was crazy. Actually, I think one of the best to me was just when he said Avengers Assemble. Avengers like Assemble. That. Yeah, when every when everyone was that. in a line, Ooh. everyone was all lined up, ready to attack. And yes, he was. I have goosebumps. I have goosebumps right now. Just even just, thinking about that, uh, and he just was like Avengers Assemble. I said, oh. "Oh my God, I'm losing it, and I don't care anymore." I'm I'm that at that point, I was like. I don't need, I'm shameless at this point. Cause at first I was like, I'll try and be, I'm gonna hold it back. It's not that bad. Mm. When he said Avengers Assemble, and it, it, was it wasn't even something sad. It was just, just so satisfying. Yeah. It was so satisfying. Yeah, man, because everybody was waiting to kick ass. Oh, damn. Right. Everyone, because damn right. they all remembered that, yo, Thanos defeated them. Yeah. And they were like, okay, we're, we're not Well, no, 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 no. Some, some of them would, no, no, I take it back. On on Bormir, some of them did remember. Mm, yeah. No, no, no. You're right. You're not. Yeah, right, yeah, right, yeah, right, yeah. Right, yeah right. Because mm -hmm. they remember. Yeah. So that's how Spider Man came around. and was like, oh, you know, I, th what, I, I thought I, I disappeared. I didn't see you. I, came <laughs> like, I was like, oh my god, everyone is about to kick some yeah. ass. Yeah. Not Bormir, Titan. Yeah, on the yeah, yeah. yeah. And, but um, yeah. Yeah, and um, the snap, the snap, the, the the snap from Iron Man. <sighs> That, 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 bro. that whole entire, even bro. if I do think about bro. it, even if I do think about it, nothing. It, it's it's going to get you emotional. Get yeah. yeah, bro, it, wow. it was, it was, it was done to perfection. Mm. Like, it, he didn't overact it, he didn't underact it, he just kind of faded away mm -hmm. in, in Pepper's arms. And for Pepper to be like, all right, Tony is good, are you good? Mm. And Just rest no time. Yeah, I mean, first of all, if you are a Game of Thrones fan, you was going through it between this and that. Mm -hmm. Okay, you was going through it. 
But um, I digress. Like, yeah, it it was it was it was heavy. It, it was, it was, it was heavy. really really heavy. It was and, heavy. And you know, the whole funeral scene that took me away again because you actually saw the camera pan where we pointed on each group within the MCU that you saw their movies and everything. Even the little the boy, the little kid from, from mm, Iron, Iron Man Three, Man 3. Mm. he was there, and I yeah. was like, damn, you all growing up and shit. I was yeah, like, wow, yeah. you know that was crazy. So you know, it, it it was very emotional. It was a very emotional movie, and it was just one of the most epic movies ever. You for, you ever also forgetting the last part, not right right before the 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 funeral, mm. where he had the hologram. Oh, he when he had the hologram daughter. with his daughter, yeah. That hit me as a parent. And happy and happy was like, um, what do you want? And she was like, I burger. want some hamburgers. Yeah. yeah. That that hit me as a parent. Yeah. I. I it, it it took me solely out of the fact that I'm I'm watching a a movie or even just like a comic book movie. I'm just watching a man giving basically some advice and, and a message to his daughter because he's not there anymore. Mm. And that that I I lost it after that. Like I was I was done. Even after when the movie was over and we're like driving home and I'm like I cannot believe I am still crying over this <laughs> fictional character that don't pay none of my bills that I don't even know. I don't even know the actor but I'm yeah. still crying and it was because of that moment. And, like and, and, that you know, and just when you thought that was over then the scene with Captain America and Captain America went to then put the stones away or whatever the case is. So um, that scene with Captain America, um, you know, when he came back as an old guy and he gave he gave Hawk, um, Falcon the, 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 the shield. The shield. Yeah. I was like, wow. Disney Plus. Wow. <laughs> Disney Plus. And the, the, when, it, when the movie was done, him and, and uh, the, 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 good, the lady was uh, dancing. The final dance scene, that was, that was so... That was, that was awesome. Oh my god. It, it leaves a lot to, it leaves a lot of brothers, you really did. It leaves a lot of really loopholes, we'll never talk about that. You really did fuck us up. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Thank it, you for fucking it, up. Yeah. Thank you. But um overall I, I, I gave that I gave it I wanna give it a nine point five out of ten ten. Why? Because <clears throat> They didn't do a rematch with the Hulk and you Thanos. Damn right they didn't. I, 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 that's you the only damn thing, right they didn't. The only thing when <laughs> Thanos was busting their ass, when Thanos was beating their ass, um, when Thanos was beating uh, the Thor and my everybody, Captain everybody, Man, whatever, whatever. Take names. I was like, where is the Hulk? Well, the Hulk Nothing. Boy, the Hulk already Nothing. did that snap, and he and, was and, and, out of commission. It, it's so it's so fucked up that they didn't utilize. His real core strength because Hulk is really strong. See, I, I I hear you, and I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna go to another way. I did not appreciate the fact that they did such a good job in Ragnarok of really going into Hulk and Banner having an issue, mm -hmm. and then continue that in Infinity War, and then say, oh. We made up. We're good. Yeah. Russo, Russo, Russo brothers. Y'all yeah. gave us three hours, right? Listen, this is a person that sat through the extended version at home of Return of the King. I would be fine with another 20 minutes if you would have given me some development as to how that merge came about. Mm -hmm. Being that you spent two movies developing that just for you to be like, Boop, it's this, this, this end result. Well, Between that. You know what? And Ronan, mm. like I mentioned Ronin. earlier, yeah, yeah, yeah. I you started off with Hawkeye mm. losing his family, mm. and then you saw the Ronan persona, but you didn't see how he got there. Mm. And the fact that you spent you you opened your movie up with this, mm. knowing it was going to be an emotional point, that you should have given that character some, some more leeway. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Like, this is not just a side character that we're just starting to see. Hawkeye has been in a couple movies. He's been in a few movies. Mm -hmm. So I don't know why they didn't do that. And again, like, if you're talking about, like, we are not going to sit through through through, uh, through that out, those three hours or plus, I guarantee you we would have. Yeah. Just put 20 more minutes, give us 10 minutes each of something of that, 
I would have been okay. I would have been like that's ten out of ten. Well, you know what? I'm waiting for the Blu-ray to, to to drop because I think there's gonna be more. I hope. Uh, yeah, there's I gonna hope. be. I think about uh, thirty more minutes or an hour more. Listen, yeah. I'm for it. Yeah, so I'm definitely for it. Bring that Blu-ray. Absolutely. Bring that Blu Can't Absolutely. Wait. Can't wait. So with that so in you, mind, what you gonna give it? You said nine point five. I mean, listen, my nitpickies far underway the greatness of this movie like i'm definitely 9.5 mm. 9.6 9.5 9.6 mm. <laughs> 9.6 okay well we can live with that it it's was all a good freaking but amazing it was, it movie was, it was really amazing guys you need to go watch it well if no i hope you go watch it. you're gonna watch I you've already watch watched it, it yeah and I hope you watch that the fifth time. <laughs> yeah, there, there you go there you go <laughs> definitely so with yeah. that I hope you subscribe and please, please like this video if you do. If you have any comments, please make a comment. Tell us what you think. Follow us on Twitter. Movie. Follow mm -hmm. us on Instagram. Both Geek by Heart. Yep. And um, I'm Lainey. I'm Jay. And we are Geek by Hearts. Peace.